Hi there, this is Wayne Dixon for cgcookie.com. Today I want to show you how to rig up this super basic spring using Blender. This is the result that we're going to get. We've got a spring that goes boing, 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 boing. Although uh, it doesn't go boing, you have to make those noises with your own mouth. So this is a spline object. Uh, we've got two shape keys going on, one to make it squash, one to make it stretch, and we're just going to drive it with our uh, controls here. And this uh, technique won't work if you're using geometry. We've got to have, we have to use a different technique for that. I've got a new tutorial coming out for that uh, later on. But this one is going to be super fast using a spline object. If you've got a hat, hang on to it because I'm not slowing down for no one. All right, let's go. All right, so we're starting from a blank scene. First thing we do, select everything and delete it because it's a tutorial and that's what you got to do. Then we're going to bring up our preferences with F4, choose preferences and then go to the add-ons tab and type in extra. You see this here, add curve extra objects, make sure you enable that one, but I've already enabled it because I'm a legend. Then we can hit shift A, add in a curve and choose a spiral and make sure you choose the Archimedean. Then we're gonna bring up our options here because we're gonna change them. We want it to go clockwise, doesn't matter if you go clockwise or any clockwise, it's up to you. I'm gonna make our turns eight and our steps also going to be eight. But I do not want the height to be zero, I'm gonna make it 0.5. Now the height of our spring is actually four because we're going around eight times. That's a number that we need to remember for later. But you see this thing here is also poly points. We don't want poly points, we want it to be Bezier and auto. There we go, so we are done with our spring, ta-da. So we're gonna select it, hit V and change it to be aligned. Then from the top view, I'm gonna rotate it in the negative 22.5 degrees. I'm gonna do the same thing with the top. Let's grab the top here. We're gonna hit V. We're gonna make sure it is aligned and then we're gonna rotate it in the positive 22.5 degrees. Now we've got a nice straight spring. Let's give it some geometry. So go over to the data tab here, then down here under geometry, under depth, I'm gonna put in 0.75. There we go, now we have some depth. We're not done here though, we're gonna add two shape keys. We're gonna hit this. Oh, no, nope. you need to be in object mode. Make sure you're in object mode. So we're gonna hit plus twice. On the first one here, we're gonna give this a name. We're gonna call this a squash. Now you don't need to do two shapes, but I'm gonna show you how to do it when you've got a squash and a stretch going in opposite directions, just to make it more difficult than it needs to be. All right, so let's drag this up to one. And then we jump into edit mode. We're gonna select all our points, and then we're gonna scale around the cursor. Let's make sure we are scaling around the cursor and we're going to scale it on the Z axis. So S, Z, and then we're going to go 0.5. So we've got half the height, which is now two. Then we're going to do the same thing with this one here. Let's call it stretch. And we're going to drag this up to one and we're going to increase it by 50%. So we're going to go scale Z 1.5. Now when we move them, it's animating our spring. All right, so now we're going to drive this. So let's add in an armature. Now we don't actually need it to be an armature for this point, but I like armatures. Let's go armature, single bone. They're gonna jump into the side view. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna start naming things. So I'm gonna name this armature spring underscore rig. And I'm also gonna copy that name and paste it into the data. Name the data, folks. It's always a good thing to do. Now, we're gonna select this here and we're gonna call this, this is our spring. We're gonna call it spring underscore geo. I'm gonna copy that name and name your data. Name your data, folks. It's always a good thing to do. All right, now jumping into our armature here, we're gonna jump into edit mode and we're gonna select this, still rotating around the cursor. We're gonna go R90 and line it up like that. We're gonna name this bone with F2. We're gonna call it root. Then we're gonna enable our snapping here to the vertex snapping. And then I'm gonna hit Shift D to duplicate it and snap it to this point up here. So it's matching the top. Let's name this bone, let's call it top. Let's jump into pose mode. We're gonna use the Z channel to drive our spring. So let's right click, choose copy as new driver, then select our spring object and then down here under the shapes, we're gonna right click, paste it on both of those and we're gonna fix it later. I don't need this timeline, so I'm gonna switch this over to be the driver's editor. So I'm gonna hit Shift F6, but that's the graph editor. So let's do it one more time, Shift F6. Now we're in the driver editor. Let's bring up our panel with the N key, select all our curves, zoom in. We don't actually need these handles, so let's change it with the T key to a linear. Now we've got less things to deal with. And we want this squash to move in the negative direction, but they're both acting at the same time, so we're not getting any movement. So we can fix that. Let's hide our stretch. Select this keyframe here. We're gonna change the frame to be negative two. And that's gonna activate our squash where we move negative two in the Z direction. All right, let's bring up our stretch and let's change this second value here from one to two. Now, when we dry this, jumping into pose mode, grab this one here, you'll see that it matches exactly. So the squash is activating in the negative and the stretch is activating in the positive. But let's lock this, because we can move it anywhere. So let's just lock everything, drag our cursor down there, and then we're gonna unlock this one. 
Alright, we're not quite finished. Let's jump into edit mode, do some parenting. This top one, just parent it to the root bone. Control P, choose offset. And now, we can't move this anywhere, but we want to constrain it too, because we're not going to go past this point here. That's easily done. Jump over to the constraints panel over here, and choose limit location. And then we're going to enable our minimum and our maximum on the Z. This is the X, Y, Z. We're going to go, the minimum is going to be negative two, and the maximum is going to be positive two. Also, enabled four transforms, as well as a local space. So now, when we move this up and down, it can only go in the one direction, and we've got our spring. But let's make it pretty. We're going to use an add-on that I helped create to make it pretty. So we're going to choose this bottom one here. We're going to choose a root shape. We're going to go click create. And this isn't big enough. So let's make it bigger. Let's try five. That's looking pretty good. Now we're going to select the top. Let's make this one a circle. Click the button. Bang. There we go. It's way too big. Let's make this one and let's rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. There we go. We're not finished making it pretty. Let's add some colors. Over in the armature tab, we're going to click on bone groups. Let's click plus plus. Let's choose the top one here. We're going to make this one red. But first, we're going to spell it wrong. Then we're going to spell it right. Then choose our color here and choose a sign. Choose that other one here. Assign this color and what are we going to use? We're going to make it yellow and let's name it. Let's call that yellow. So there we go. Boom, we have a spring that is almost working. One thing we're going to do is parent it to the root bone. So we're going to select this one here. Then shift select this one, jump into pose mode, and then hit Control P and choose bone. So now when we move this one, we can move it in any direction, scale it bigger if we want, and we've got ourselves a working spring. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Thank you very much. Hope you learned something.